Despite Kick-Ass 2 having a sluggish performance at the box office and a much weaker fan and critic reaction than the first one, many fans have been holding out hope that a Kick-Ass 3 could at some point be on the way. However, Hit Girl herself, Chloe Moretz, was recently asked if a third film is possible and she said the following, Sadly, I think I'm done with the character. Hit Girl was a very cool character, but I don't think there will be any more movies. Amy Rose, buy or sell Moretz's comments. Um, I buy it. Um, I definitely enjoyed the second, but it was nowhere as nearly as good as the first. I feel like it was just trying to verbatim, you know, capture all the character moments and, you know, the death, that was the turning point and all of that. And they just tried to, I don't know, it just, it didn't feel as fresh and exciting, even though it was still an enjoyable film. And I love her as kick-ass. I mean, she... Hit Girl, ooh, Kick-Ass. I love her as Kick-Ass. This is a very different <laughs> film now. Um, but yeah, I love Aaron Taylor Johnson as Kick-Ass and her as Hit Girl, and I think they had really good chemistry. But, you know, rated R comedies are, are hard. It's a gamble, and that film, again, by critical and monetary standards, didn't perform that great. So why would they want to bank on it again? So yeah, I think that will probably be the end of the franchise. Yeah, and this kind of piggybacks on the Godzilla press conference that Aaron Taylor Johnson had when they asked him directly, are they going to be more? He said, well, I'll never say never, but it doesn't look like yeah. it. I mean, that just kind of goes to, to show that, that that's the case. And, you know, I'm, I'm also one of these guys that I liked Kick-Ass too. I did. I think they did some things really well. I think the names of the characters were even better than they were in the first one. That means a lot of that just carry over from the comic series. But still, they did a lot of things right. But for me, I said this before, there was a hole in the movie in the shape of Big Daddy that nothing else they could do could fill that hole. There was such a uniqueness that the Big Daddy character brought to that movie that rounded it out so perfectly that they just couldn't compensate for in the second one. I think she's absolutely right. I, I think there, there's no financial gain here to making another one. There's no incentive to make one. Aaron Taylor Johnson is getting bigger. She is getting bigger. In the next five years, she's just gonna be huge. Rightfully so, she's great. Uh, and rightfully so. Uh, so I just don't see any way that a Kick-Ass 3 happens. Schnapp, do you see any differently? Um, you know, may, it would have to be totally different than the Kick-Ass 3 comic book, I, would be my guess, because if there was going to be a Kick-Ass 3, it would be like in 10 years. It would be one of these things like, let's round out the trilogy, uh, because, you know, it was released uh, on, on video and DVD, and it just didn't do the kind of numbers that the first Kick-Ass did, which is the whole reason they made another Kick-Ass 2. Because Kick-Ass, the original film, didn't make that much money at the box office. Some would say it was a bomb, but then it made a lot of money on home video and DVD. And, and, Actually, know. it was profitable in theaters. Its yeah. theatrical one was profitable. But it wasn't like a not huge. Yeah, it wasn't a huge. huge but yeah. it, it wasn't money. a bomb. They just weren't going to make. They didn't announce a sequel until home video. Now with this one, they've already got those numbers back in. So I don't think it's going to add up. But you know, to be honest, I like Kick Ass too. But I, I agree with you completely. It was missing something, and that it was the Big Daddy that story element. So even with the, when they rounded out and had a whole bunch of heroes with Jim Carrey. And then that just kind of got snuffed out really quickly. I just think the, the whole film was a little bit less, uh, wasn't as good as Kick-Ass. So. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.